There we go. There's one. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I want to show you three main reasons why your line may break at the bale of your reel. Now, I experienced one of these reasons on a recent trip, which I'll share that footage with you towards the end of the video. I hooked into a very large bull redfish, took me for a bit of a ride, and then the line just all of a sudden snapped, and I'll show you why. Now, one of the main reasons why your line may break at the bale roller which is this area right here where the line sits on the bale is because you might have some corrosion on there or debris. So when your line starts pulling drag and going out, that corrosion will rub against your line and it will pop due to that pressure. Now the next reason why your line may break at the bale roller is because your roller is not spinning freely. This should spin freely when there is enough pressure applied to the drag or to that roller because if it doesn't spin, there's going to be a lot of pressure on your line against the bale roller. And with that pressure and that friction, it's going to build up a lot of heat, causing your line to weaken and snap. So make sure you thoroughly inspect this area of your reel if you are experiencing these problems. Even if you're not experiencing uh, these problems, be sure to just check that area as routine maintenance. There's typically a screw on the back side. You can take that off and then you can clean it out. Especially with braided line rubbing against this area, you're gonna get a lot of debris coming off right there due to it rubbing on there. Uh, you're gonna get pieces of line possibly stuck in there and all that buildup will cause that roller to get stuck. So you definitely want that to be spinning freely as your line is coming off the reel. Now the last reason as to why your line may break there, and this happened to me on a recent trip, is when you take pressure off of the fish while you're fighting it. Because when you take pressure off of the fish, you're taking pressure off the line, and when your line goes slack, you see sometimes it will come off of that roller. And then when you quickly apply pressure back to that fish, that line will snap back onto the roller. Sometimes it won't go right into the middle. Sometimes it will go off to the side, uh, close to the bale, or it will go to the side close to the arm and it will spin there and rub against those areas and snap and pop, which is what happened to me on this trip. So let me go ahead and show you that footage, really big uh, bull redfish that I hooked, and the line that ended up snapping right there at the bale. There we go. There's one. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. That is a big fish. Whew. Oh. oh no. Oh no. So as you saw, I went to go anchor up, lost pressure on the fish, fish took off and then popped the line right there. And you can actually see the line falling in the water. So that will wrap up this video. If you want to see the complete full report from this trip where I show you the trends, where exactly I went, what I was using, and how I found these fish based on the conditions, definitely check out our Salt Strong Super Community where I post weekly trip reports, spot dissections all up and down the east and west coast, and also what's most important is the helpful community of anglers that we have to help you become a better fisherman. So definitely check that out. Until then, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below.